Are you looking to get started in music production but don't know the right application to choose? Or maybe you're looking to upgrade from a free alternative. With all the choices out there, the decision isn't as easy as it seems. But in this video, I'm gonna break down the very best DAWs that beginners can choose from so you can make the right decision. At the end of this video, I'll reveal my personal favorite DAW and one I use on all of my professional tracks. Feel free to skip to any of the DAWs located in the chapter markers. Links to all of these DAWs will be available in the description below. Starting off the list, we have Ableton Live, also known as Ableton. Ableton Live is a powerful application that's designed for both live performances and music production. It offers powerful tools for mixing, mastering, and recording music, as well as beat matching and crossfading tools for DJs. Ableton Live is a great choice for electronic musicians and musicians that need to focus on live performances. It has an extremely intuitive workflow that makes recording ideas and getting ideas down super quick and easy. Hands down, Ableton has the best live performance and looping capabilities that I've seen. It has a wide variety of factory sounds, synths, plugins, and samples. And lastly, Ableton is really great for sampling. It has really good integration with some of the other products that it releases like the Ableton Push. <laughs> Here are some things I don't like about Ableton. Ableton isn't as good at recording live bands as other DAWs. Some of the stock plugins that come with the studio suite just don't sound good. For example, the guitar amp. And lastly, the workflow in Ableton is a lot different than other DAWs that you may be used to. So if you learn Ableton, those skills won't necessarily transfer very well to other DAWs. Ableton Live currently comes in three editions, light, standard and sweet. If you're making EDM beats and not recording anyone live, then I would highly recommend this program for you. If that's not you, stay tuned for some of the other DAW recommendations I'm gonna talk about next. I'm giving this DAW an 8.6 out of 10. On to my second recommendations for the best DAWs for beginners, it's GarageBand. GarageBand is only available on Mac, so if you don't have a Mac, please skip to the next chapter marker below. Though there are iPad and iPhone versions, I'm gonna be specifically talking about the desktop version of GarageBand for this review. GarageBand is a great choice for musicians that are just starting out with music and dipping their toes into music production. GarageBand is a music and podcast creation app, and best of all, it's completely free. If, if you haven't downloaded this and you have a Mac, please just give it a try, because I promise you it is well worth the free download and the 20 minutes it takes to do so. Here are some things I like about GarageBand. It has a very intuitive layout and design. It has an okay amount of sounds and VSTs or virtual instruments. It has access to some of the basic plugins that you'll need for starting in music production. It is completely capable of making a hit and it's got some good presets to choose from if you don't know exactly what you're doing. Here are some things I don't like about GarageBand. It has no access to busing and routing options. It's got limited options inside of the plugins, and it also has a limited selection of plugins themselves. In GarageBand, there's no mixer or console view like there are in other DAWs. And probably my least favorite part about GarageBand is that exporting is an absolute pain. You have to individually export soloed tracks if you want to export individual tracks. No thank you. No thanks, I choose life. But once again, GarageBand is completely free. I understand you need to buy into the Mac ecosystem to do this, but if you do have that Mac already, go ahead and download it. This is a great choice for people just starting out with music production, but some of its lack of features means it can never replace some of the other fully fledged DAWs that are on this list. It's easy to start out with and record music, but you'll hit a ceiling quickly. I give GarageBand a 7.4 out of 10. Hey, if you want to get better at making music, music production, and songwriting, then hit the subscribe button. I come out with new videos all the time that will show you exactly the secrets that pros use to get the sounds that you hear on the radio. On to my third recommendation, FL Studio. The FL in FL Studio actually stands for Fruity Loops. But don't get this program confused with the Serial because it is a powerful music making application. It's available for Mac and Windows. When I first started music production well over 10 years ago, FL Studio was like the misfit brother of GarageBand rather than a standalone DAW that I wanted to use. Since then, FL Studio has continued to add and expand to their collection, which has made them a big player in the DAW game. Today, FL Studio has all the tools you need to make your song sound great. It's perfect for beginning musicians and it is especially popular for hip hop producers. Here are some things I like about FL Studio. 
It's got a really good GUI and user interface that's easy to understand. It is intuitive for beginners to use. It comes with great presets and VSTs. FL Studio hosts a lifetime of free updates, so you'll never worry about paying for the next version. FL Studio has advanced routing capabilities. And probably my favorite part about FL Studio is it has a fantastic drum sequencer and MIDI note editor. If you're working a lot in MIDI or doing a lot of drum programming, this is my favorite application to do so. Here are some things I don't like. Buying the full version of FL Studio probably means you're gonna need to supplement a few of the plugins with paid versions. FL Studio is not a great option for recording live bands. Some of the samples are really not that great, like the drum samples. Though it's got an intuitive design and is easy to start recording, FL Studio, like a lot of other DAWs, has a steep learning curve to truly master. FL Studio is available in four versions as of recording this video, with prices at the following, $99, $199, $299, and $499 for the most premium version. As you move up that price ladder, you get more features. I recommend FL Studio for producers that are focusing on hip hop or EDM. Any genre that requires a lot of MIDI programming and drum sequencing, this is a good program for you to learn. I give FL Studio an 8.4 out of 10. Make sure to stay tuned for the last one where I'll reveal my personal favorite DAW. On to number four. The next best DAW option for beginners is called Reaper. Now this may be a DAW that you haven't heard of before, but Reaper is a fully fledged DAW where you can record and make the music you want without breaking the bank. Reaper is available on Mac, Windows, and even Linux. Yes, that's one for you Linux users out there. Reaper is an extremely fast and customizable DAW. It's a little bit less intuitive than some of the others I've mentioned, but what it lacks in usability, it makes up for in pure speed and customizability. If you want to, you can change how this DAW looks completely. It also takes up hardly any computer power, which saves more space for computer processing and RAM for your plugins. On top of all that, Reaper is extremely affordable. It comes with a free demo so you can try before you buy, but if you do decide to buy, you're gonna get a low price. Some things I like about Reaper. Reaper is really stable and doesn't crash as much as other DAWs do. Reaper comes with basic effects and plugins that you'll need to get started with music making. Reaper has got great customer support. There's even some stories of customer support representatives getting back to people at 3 a.m. in the middle of the night when they needed help on a project. It's a super fast and super light DAW it doesn't use a lot of computer power. Probably my favorite part about Reaper is it's inexpensive. Some things I don't like about Reaper is that it needs help from other paid plugins. This isn't an all encompassing solution, especially if you're gonna be using guitar. The guitar amp simulator is just not there. Reaper doesn't have a super intuitive interface like some of the other DAWs. And lastly, it doesn't have that big of a sample or effect library as some of the other options on this list. In my opinion, Reaper is better than a lot of the light versions of the other DAWs on this list. The inexpensive price point makes it a no-brainer for people interested in music. Reaper has all the tools you need to make hit sounding records. I rate Reaper an 8.0 out of 10. Finally, we made it to the last DAW in our list and my personal favorite DAW, Logic Pro. Logic Pro is a DAW developed by Apple exclusively for Mac. It's a super powerful tool that comes with thousands of samples, plugins, and instruments. Logic Pro has an intuitive interface and great looking graphics. Logic makes recording instruments super easy to do. And if you want to get into more advanced concepts like audio routing, Logic offers tools to do so. If you're currently a GarageBand user, I would highly recommend making the upgrade if you're thinking about it. Logic is used by producers in all genres making all types of music. Here are some of the things I like about Logic. It's got a great selection of sounds, samples, and virtual instruments. It's got an amazing GUI and visuals. It's really easy to navigate and use. It has multiple session views for different workflows. It's got great sounding stock plugins and synths. It's relatively inexpensive. It has everything you need to make a hit right in one package. It's my favorite DAW for recording live instruments. Here are some things I don't like about Logic is it can be prone to crashing. And for bigger projects, the load times can be really slow. Logic, like the other DAWs, has a high learning curve for becoming a master at it. And the last thing I don't like about Logic is Logic uses a different type of audio plugin called AU, 
rather than VST, which is what almost all of the other DAWs use. I recommend Logic Pro to anyone that wants to produce music that already knows how to play an instrument. You'll be able to get the sounds and recording set up on the system immediately with little to no help. That really can't be said about most of the other programs. You can buy Logic Pro for $199, which is a great price for all that you get with the program. However, I understand that you do need a Mac to use it, so there might be some more associated costs with that. This isn't a perfect DAW, but it is my favorite and the one I use most often. I rate Logic Pro a 9.1 out of 10. Those are my five best DAW recommendations for beginners. All of them might take a bit of time to get used to and to learn, but there are a plethora of resources available online on YouTube that you can use to help teach you. Also keep in mind that the DAW you use isn't super important. You can make hits with any of these DAWs. It's not the paintbrush that makes the master artist. It's not the DAW that makes the hit song. It's you. Leave any comments or questions down below that you have, and I would be happy to answer them. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.